Hello and welcome to this urgent cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin charts together as we are going to be going over the potential massive move that we can be seeing today off of the stable coin meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason I am personally bringing you this video is because I had the experience of trading the exact same move in 2018, October 2018 to be precise. And it was exactly, it was a very similar scenario, let's just say that. And it feels like I traded that yesterday. So I have it in, locked in my mind of what occurred. And that was with the stablecoin FUD, you have people selling or getting wanting to get out of their stable coins and what does that result in it results in people essentially buying bitcoin they do not want to be holding their tether that was back in 2018 of course now there's hundreds of different stable coins so the options are greater yes that's acknowledged but i still feel as if we're going to see a move to the upside nevertheless here on bitcoin to be honest with you and that's why personally i am not shorting yet obviously i've already made it pretty clear on twitter earlier today that I am actually expecting this move to the upside based off of the 2018 fractal. Uh, so that leaves us onto what we have now. So I've already put out a bit of a warning on Twitter, uh, but now I need to get this video uploaded as soon as possible really. Uh, so I want to just really briefly talk about why I'm expecting that move to the upside, why I'm not shorting, and the two scenarios that we have had left to play off. Scenario number one was a uh, Gartley fractal, and in the end there was just no rejection at all on the uh, CC. So there was just really simply no short trade to be taken. And option number two is obviously trading the CCV itself, which obviously had a target yesterday of 39,200. So it's a pretty nice move to the upside. And it's like I've you know told people really already, this is the best option to do. If you traded that CCV long setup yesterday, uh, it's kind of like we were, you know, let some run. I personally would not close all of that long and I would not short yet. Um, because yeah, I'm still expecting to move to the upside here, basically. Uh, so bringing it back to the charts, uh, what can we be expecting in terms of the, you know, a deviation or a potential short setup? Okay. Uh, before I get on to the potential short, I just want to make you aware very briefly that tonight we do go over the Igor sessions in the contenders live stream. Uh, the Igor sessions is hundred percent original content that you will never have seen produced by anyone before. This is 100% pure original content. So if you want to learn about the Eagle sessions, that is tonight in the Contenders live stream. That's for the Contenders and the Champions, chartchampions.com, Eagle sessions. Then we're going over Eagle time. You do not want to miss this. And that is tonight. So do not forget, bringing it back to the charts. What's the potential short setup? Well, the potential short setup is obviously a deviation from the top of the range. So if we get the deviation from the top of the range and back in, or obviously a swing failure pattern type move, that would be our that would be a potential short setup. Now, I personally would just not take one yet while we are still below the range high. I'm pretty happy with this. We're seeing a little bit of a move up now. But yeah, basically, I personally would not short yet. I am expecting higher on this Bitcoin chart. Primarily, uh, you know, to be honest, I just don't see any bearish signs at the moment that from the technical perspective. And secondly, yeah, I'm very much aware of what happened in 2018. And we can expect that fractal at least to give us a break of this range. Like the very least, we're looking for the move up. Best, you know, best case scenario, it just squeezes up or does the back test and sort of runs. You know, other scenario is that we do get the deviation slash swing failure pattern and we actually then get a short setup upon that occurring. So I am being a bit, a little bit patient here, not jumping into a short yet. Okay, not jumping into a short yet personally, uh, because yeah, I am expecting a bit, bit higher of the deviation uh, at, at the very least. Of if not a move further to the upside, as we know above us, then we have forty one thousand five hundred dollars. If we breach above this, we're just going level to level forty one five hundred, forty two thousand. Then we obviously have about that forty three thousand, forty four thousand. Goes in a thousand dollar increments above that. But this video is very much focused on the lower term time frame and the potential of you know this this move slightly above the range at the very least right now. I need to get this information out as quickly as possible. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what I will say is if you enjoy me bringing you these urgent updates, absolutely smash that like button right now. Smash the like button to a new all-time high. It's not every day I'm going to be giving the urgent free updates to the public, but because of the support you're showing us, it makes me more motivated to pump out the content. So pump up the likes and I will continue to pump you out the best content. This is based off of my experience from trading in 2018. It is affecting the way I'm trading today in 2021. 
And, uh, you know, it's just those sort of insights that are pretty much invaluable. So that's how I'm expecting today to play out, if I'm totally honest with you. I do think we will see a bit of an exodus, let's say, from stablecoins into, into Bitcoin. Obviously, in 2018, it resulted in a move to the upside before, obviously, dropping in the end. That's something to bear in mind if you want to lay the fractal over. Obviously, in the very, very, very short term, which this video is focused on, does result in a move to the upside first. OK, first and foremost. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that was about it. Congratulations to the CCV setup traders. This is a nice print screen if you want to pause and read through that one. And the final words before I end will be, yes, you have to acknowledge that the largest stablecoin exchange is Binance. And this is just something food for thought, ladies and gentlemen. Binance is the largest stablecoin exchange. On top of that, Binance are wrecking their own customers with these ridiculous massive wicks to the upside. That is absolutely awful. And thirdly, and lastly, probably the biggest factor, Binance have just introduced a 0.06 daily withdrawal limit, which is just extremely low and anti-consumer. That is against me and you totally. So if you are anti-Binance, very much like I am, you can make use, obviously, of joining the best exchange right now for cryptocurrency trading, and that is Bybit. Yeah. It's just by far the best exchange. So if you want to sign up to buy a bit, you can get a free $200 and make the correct choice right now. I will leave that link in the description down below. Three factors I'll give you before I end. Buy, buy a bit has better fees, e.g. it's a no-brainer. It has better customer support and it is just not going to have any of those scam wicks and you're not going to be limited to 0 0.06 Bitcoin a day. And let me tell you, as a person that does regularly, you know, go above two Bitcoin a day, two Bitcoin a day is slightly annoying. I'm not going to lie. But when, you know, this is why you have to have like, you know, if you want to transfer a million in a day, million dollars, you're going to have to split it up between, you know, eight to 10 accounts. But 0 0.06 Bitcoin is just making that absolutely impossible I'm pretty sure people are going to be leaving Binance for that exact reason. It's just absolutely disgraceful, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's what I wanted to bring you today. I've given you an update on Bitcoin, why I'm expecting higher, based off of my personal trading on 2018. That leads me to believe we're going higher here. I'm not in a short position at the moment. I'm looking for at least the higher the range to be taken. And I'm going to need to upload this video straight away. So, of course, this is the trade disclaimer. You have to acknowledge it's not financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do in this video. I'm just giving you a bit of perspective of why I am personally not shorting yet and uh, looking at least for the range high to be taken for a swing failure pattern type trade for a short position. So I am remaining patient for the short, not jumping in it yet. And, uh, you know, naturally looking for a little bit higher um, or a lot higher if it wants to go that high. Trade the charts, smash the likes, and I'll catch you in the next video. Or that will be tonight, I suppose, for the, champ the Contenders and Champions live stream. Catch you in that one. Thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day and goodbye. <laughs>